Hi, everybody. It's Karen. It's Way in Wednesday. It's, I guess it's Wawa Way in Wednesday because I'm not very happy because I weigh exactly the same thing. Must be a plateau. I've been eating healthy. I haven't been cheating. Um, I'm still convinced that I don't drink enough water, so now I have a pitcher of lemon cucumber water in the refrigerator. And I'm going to make sure I drink at least a quart of that every day, along with the tea and everything that I, two cups of tea and my smoothie that I usually drink. See if that helps. I don't know. At this point, I don't know. It's a plateau. I probably should go more higher protein, but who knows? We'll see how this works with the with the increase in water. And I might start to walk a little further. But now into my day today. It is cold down here. It's in the 30s. Luckily, we don't have any ice yet or... Uh, in this part of Georgia. Um, I don't know about tonight, though. If it doesn't stop raining soon, um, it might just get cold enough to freeze. But we'll deal with that tomorrow. Whatever. Today, we went out. It's Wednesday. It's Kroger's Old People Day Savings Day. Extra 5% off. I like to pick up things that I use a lot of, like cottage cheese and bananas and almond milk and all those kind of things that I have to keep replacing during the week. I was going to run around, not right, yeah, right, walk around Kroger's several times. Um, so that would help make up for the walk that I'm not doing today because it's, I'm not going out in this. It's too cold. I don't mind the rain, but it's, it's really too cold and it's windy and I'm not going to get pneumonia. I don't care. So I don't know. I might do something here tonight under the guise of exercising, but I highly doubt it. Anyway. It was a silly thought to walk around Kroger. First of all, I'll tell you, if you are on any kind of diet, eating plan, whatever you want to call it, probably a grocery store isn't the place to walk around. I'm just saying. Kroger has a Starbucks. Kroger has all the good stuff cooking and the bakery with the bread smells and, and as I say, the fried chicken and all that takeout stuff that they make, barbecue chicken, all that. You can smell it throughout the whole store. Makes you hungry anyway to go through. And then, of course, all you've got is all those foods in your sight. So <laughs> I walked around one more time than Charlie. I sent him to the register to check out. And I Knew where the car was, so I said, when you finish checking out, just go to the car. I'm going to walk around, and then I'll be out. Well, starting my second time around, he hadn't gotten out of the register. He was up checking out with the cashier, and I could see her repeating herself and him standing there saying he couldn't hear. So I... Ran over to the register, and I said, can I help? I said, he's deaf. And she said, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Which everybody always says when I tell them that he's deaf, and I understand that, you know, I understand. It just, I'm having a bad day, folks. I'm having a bad day. Anyway, <laughs> she had just checked, checked him out, given him the senior discount, and she had already rung it up, and what she was asking him for was his date of birth because he had bought a, bought a carton of cigarettes. Now, apparently, it's a law. 
I don't know if it's a America law or a state law or whatever, but they're supposed to check everybody's ID if they're pur purchasing uh, liquor or cigarettes. Can't sell to minors. I understand that. But she just gave him a senior citizen discount. And I'm, I'm looking at her and I'm saying, you've got to be kidding me. I said, you just rang it up, senior citizen. Plus 55. And you want to know his date of birth so he can buy a carton of cigarettes? I said, I know it's not your fault. I... I'm not usually this cranky. I know it's the weather. I know I was hungry while I was in that store. I know I'm frustrated because I couldn't walk. That walk really does help you clear your head. And uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy going out for my half an hour and, you know, just clearing my head. And I didn't have a chance to do it. It was a lousy day. No weight loss. No, the house hasn't sold. And I had pulled out my contract with my realtors for this for this house here because I thought it was only 90 days. I figured they'd be calling soon to renew it so we could keep it on the market, blah, blah. Before I called, I had Charlie pull it out. And God only knows why. I thought it was a 90-day contract. It's till May 30th. Well, then I got upset with me and him for not noticing that when we signed up in the first place. I got so angry. See, I was waiting for them to call me to sign me up again, and then I was going to tell them all my complaints, like no communication. But they didn't have to do that because they got me until the 30th of May. So I got aggravated. I called Kim, who is the girl that I signed the original contract with. And I explained to her my situation and how I was upset that I found out it was till May 30th that they had the house under contract. And I said, I'm unhappy, there's no communication. And she said, well, you know, Karen, I'm really only the secondary agent because you ask, actually asked for Sheila. I said, I know, but she wasn't available. I signed the contract with you. That's why I'm calling you up. And she said, well, you can call me up. But she said, Sheila's really in charge of the contract. I said, well, when did that officially happen? Because when you came to take pictures of the house. You both came together. Nobody said, I, you know, I signed the contract with you. Nobody said differently, even though I had asked for Sheila, but she was out on medical leave. So <laughs> I said, this is what I mean. This is my problem. I said, then you don't have to listen to me rant for a few minutes because I'll just call Sheila up. And she said, no, no, you can tell me. And uh, she said, I'll go over it with Sheila. And, and she said, you can call her if you want. But she said, you know, you're already on a roll here. And I was. I was on a roll. So anyway, we straightened out a lot of things. And I hope that um, there's going to be a lot more communication. I didn't realize the lockbox on my door was what they were depending on to get an email that, so a realtor had called them, even though the secretary does put stuff in their box, usually. Uh, if when the lockbox is open, the email is directly sh sent out to both of their phones, and they should be aware to follow up or wait for a follow up. I don't know. It's a mess. I'm smiling. What else am I going to do on a day like this? It's a lousy day. I'm sure this is all the weather, and I do apologize because, you know, I really do like a good laugh. It's just like, it feels like somebody has 
come and said, Karen, you're not going to get anywhere with anything. Your house is at a standstill. Your weight is at a standstill. You know, <laughs> I'm putting you on hold temporarily. I don't know. That's my cheery story, and I'm sticking to it. So, <laughs> all of you wonderful people, I apologize for this, but I feel better. Thank you. Thank you for listening. And um, I hope to talk to you soon. I hope somebody will still be there soon. Um, if not, if I don't see you soon, uh, you know, I'm going to be weighing in next Wednesday and... Uh, it is what it is. Peace, hugs, love, and God bless. See you.